I did take pride, Doug, in, in getting two letters. Um, I got a couple of phone calls from, uh, and, and acknowledgments from former presidents, but I got two letters, both of which are presidents who'd given very unhappy with the media, not always liking the media, but both of them saying, um, promising me two things. One, that, that I had done a good job, and two, that there is life after the White House. One was a handwritten uh, uh, from Texas George W. Bush, and the other was typed, but a very familiar scrawl at the bottom from George Herbert Walker Bush on Kenny Bunkport stationery, um, actually apologizing for something that had happened years ago when it did long story. But, what was it? Well, uh, <laughs> you have the good stuff, don't you? George Herbert Walker Bush was so genteel and so polite. He came back to the White House on the day Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. He had gone up to Camp David to meet with all of his power players, the, you know, the Schwarzkopfs and the, and the Skokoffs and Dick Cheney and Jim Baker and uh, Colin Powell, what will we do about this? And George Bush comes back to the White House, lands in the helicopter, gets off the, and comes right up to the ABC News camera. Everybody gathers around, and he was a left-handed. He was left fist in his right fist. He said, he said he was so rewarded that even the Arab world was uniting against Saddam Hussein. And I blurted out, look at the front page of the Washington Post, your good friend, King Hussein of Jordan, gets in his jet, flies to Baghdad. There's a picture of him embracing Saddam Hussein. George Bush turned around and barked at me, well, I can read, what's your question? Knocked the wind out of me, I didn't know how to respond. So another reporter said, well, what do you think? Next day, he's about to send Defense Secretary Dick Cheney to Saudi Arabia to offer a half million troops to dig into the desert. And I'm called up to, uh, just outside the White House, uh, outside the Oval Office, and I'm handed an envelope with my name written on it, said, to Ann Compton, it's personal, underlined twice. On the White House stationery, a little card that said, Dear Ann, said you did an excellent job asking questions in our little press to and fro. I wasn't pleased with my answers to you. And under the initials GB, he drew a happy face, <laughs> wearing a frown. <laughs> the President of the United States writing an apology to the press. The note from Kenny Bunkport says, now about that bark, are you sure it wasn't just a little yelp? Oh dear Anne, have you forgiven me? <laughs> I think it, it, it's a very human, human moment from a president who, um, uh, who, who loved the years that he was in public service and still watches with fondness. And for the record, have you forgiven him? Oh, yes, sir.